This is tutorial number seven, and it covers how to revolve extrude within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create a sketch with an axis, and from that we're going to revolve and extrude that. So to start off, let's do a basic one. All we're going to do is we're going to sketch a two-point rectangle. Let's draw it out. Make it a little thinner and longer for this tutorial. Click Return. Click Revolve. And what you're going to have to do, first you have to choose a profile. So this is the only profile that's already been selected. Then you have to choose an axis. And for the axis, let's choose this. And let's rotate this around. And you can see that this profile has been revolved 360 degrees around that axis. Click OK. And now we've revolved that sketch. Now let's do one that's a little bit more complicated. Let's delete this. Right click, delete. Click OK. Now let's click the YZ plane, click sketch. Now this time we're going to do a circle. So let's click the circle. Let's draw it out. Now let's make a line. And we'll make it go down like that. So what we're going to do now, and to close your line, right click, click done. So you've only made the one line. So what this is going to do is we're going to highlight this as our profile and we're going to revolve it around this axis. So let's do that. Let's click return click revolve and we're gonna click this is our profile and then this is our axis and you can see from the preview that it's revolving around and it's making pretty much it looks like a donut so let's click OK and we revolve that around now let's say we don't want a full 360 all we want is say a quarter of it, so 90 degrees. So let's unclick rotate, let's right click the revolve 2 that we just made, click edit feature, and then instead of full, let's click it and do angle. So what we're going to do is we're only going to do 90 degrees to make a quarter of it. So let's click OK, and now we have only have 90 degrees of that revolve. Now let's delete this one, right click, click delete, click OK. Now let's click the YZ plane again, click sketch, and what we're going to do this time is we're going to make a hollow revolve. So let's click the center point circle, let's make one big circle, and let's make one small circle. Now we'll make our line again to make to go around as our axis. Now let's click return. Now we'll click Revolve, and for the profile, you're able to either select the inside or the outside. Because we want it to be hollow, let's click the outside. For the axis, let's click this line here, and we're going to make it an angle, and let's make this one 180. Click OK. Let's go out, and you can see that we've made a pipe that's hollow, and it goes 180 degrees. Now, if you look at the curve that we've made, say that curve's too small for us, all we have to do is unclick the rotate, let's right click the revolve that we just made, click edit sketch, and we'll rotate this around so we can see it a bit. And what we have to do to make it a little larger, the area that we're going around, is we have to make this axis come out more. So let's click the general dimension, click the center point there, click this line. Right now it's 55, 56 millimeters. So let's double it. Let's make it 100. Click OK. Now let's click return. Now we can see that the area that it covers now is a little larger. So by changing the distance from the axis to the center point there, we can make 
the circle or the revolve larger or smaller. Now let's delete this one. Click OK. Now let's do another sketch. Click the Y. Let's click the XZ plane. And now let's do two squares. They don't have to be perfect, just that one smaller than the other. And we'll draw one line on the side here. As the axis. Now let's click return. Let's revolve it. For the profile, we're going to click the outside. For the axis, we're going to click the line there. And again, let's change this to an angle. Let's do it 180. And let's rotate this so you can see it on the top. So like the extrude, we can also do from one side of the profile or the other. So if we flip this, it's doing it on the other side. So you can see that our sketch is there. It's the darker blue. And from there is where we're going to revolve it around from one side or the other. Or we can do a mid-plane one, which is going to go halfway around. So it's all up to you how you want to extrude it out, but those are the different ways you can do it. And that concludes our tutorial on how to revolve extrude within Autodesk Inventor.